On September 1, the United States is going to quadruple the size of tariffs on Chinese goods coming into America. Essentially, last year, in the month of May, the U.S. imposed a 10% tariff on $200 billion worth of Chinese goods. That's basically a $20 billion consumption tax on Americans buying goods from China. Now, that 10% tariff on those $200 billion worth of goods is set to grow to 25%, taking that from $20 billion to $50 billion. In addition to that, the U.S. is now preparing a 10% tariff on an additional $300 billion worth of Chinese goods. That is essentially another $30 billion on top of that, bringing the total price tag from $20 billion currently to $80 billion. So what's the economic impact on the U.S. and China? Well, it's our estimate that the U.S. and China will roughly share the $80 billion cost, paying implicitly about $40 billion each. For China, that means about $40 billion less exports going towards the United States, which we estimate to take off about one-third to one-half a percent from Chinese economic growth, which, by the way, is still very strong, coming in at just over 6 percent. In the United States, the impact will be felt differently. It will be felt through a combination of slightly higher consumer prices, which we believe may gain by one or two tenths of one percent, and slightly lower U.S. corporate profits, which we think will fall by about two, perhaps two and a half percent, as U.S. companies absorb some of the higher cost of goods from China. So overall, the economic impact could be either greater than that if it compounds problems by creating reduced confidence, reduced business investment, or it could be smaller than that if governments succeed in offsetting some of the cost. For example, China's easing monetary policy, raising government spending, and cutting taxes, which could offset and amortize some of these costs over many years. Uh, likewise, in the United States, the federal government gets to collect additional tax revenue, an additional $60 billion in revenue on top of the $20 billion it's collecting from the existing tariffs. And a portion of that, about $28 billion, will be paid out to farmers in the United States to help offset some of the trade costs to American farmers. So the economic impact is complicated, and we won't know for sure what the economic impact will be for many months. But it seems as though for the moment those impacts are fairly modest. About a third of a percent less growth in China, slightly higher U.S. consumer prices, and slightly lower U.S. corporate profits. I'm Eric Norland, Senior Economist with the CME Group in London.